Welcome to this edition of Career Pro Tips by Life in the Green Room. At Life in the Green Room, we help busy professionals who want more out of their career. We provide action-oriented, tool-based plans that empower people to take ownership of their career now. In Career Pro Tips, each video shares a concept or an idea that can help you take ownership of your career, and we cover strategies, tips, and tactics that let you dive right in. If you have any ideas or concepts you'd like us to cover, please leave us a comment here. Let's dive in. This is our very first episode. In, in this episode, we're going to cover how long should my resume be? This question comes up all the time. It's really a couple things to dive into in order to answer this question. I understand the framework of this. You've done so much and you're so proud of what you've accomplished in your career and you want your prospective or future employer to know everything. They want to you want them to understand the full package they're going to get with you and all the skills that you have to offer. The challenge is most people when they're inter looking to screen resumes don't want to read a 10-page resume. So showing everything you've done is probably not in the best benefit to get you where you want to go. To start off this tip I want to just reiterate an important point. The number one job of your resume is to get you to the next step, whatever that next step is. Often it's a phone call or an in-person interview. And so the purpose of your resume is to be succinct and representative of everything you have to offer for that position to take you to the next step. And I think if we keep that in mind, it'll really help us kind of frame out the question of how long should my resume be? I only have two steps that I want you to kind of dive into or two strategies I want you to follow when trying to figure this out. The first step is some research. This is simple, don't get scared or thrown off by the word research. I just want you to do a little bit of cursory look on your industry to figure out how long your resume should be. Each industry is different, so I can't give a blanket answer that two pages is the right length. So do a little bit of research and figure out in your space what's the right length of a resume. The second tip that I want you to really think about is a concept I call the master resume. And your master resume is super long. I want the master resume to be 10 pages, 12 pages, whatever. In there, I want you to include every job you've ever had. Inside that job, I want you to list out all of the responsibilities you had, all of the duties you had, the teams that you were a part of, the teams that you led, the things that you accomplished, and get specific. Put down the measurable things that impacted the business that you did in those roles and capture it all in one master document. I also want you to include in there any professional development that you've done, any training you've done, any extracurricular and volunteer activities that you've done, anything in there that's kind of rounding out all of your skill sets. Put it all down there in one place. It can be a little messy. This document is for you. It's not for anybody else. So don't get hung up on the format. Get into making sure the content is quality and it has the specific measurable things that you've done included in there. Once you have your master resume, we're going to do two things with it. One, you're going to curate the resume to be the best representation of the skills that are going to help you with the job that you're applying for. And you'll put it into the format that you've researched. So if your research says it's a specific format and it's two pages, use your master resume to curate the best representation. It is one of the skills that you often have to demonstrate is that you can simplify things and get it down to the most important things. The second thing I want you to do with your master resume is study it and use that for preparation for phone calls or interviews. I love it when I'm talking to a candidate and they have other things to offer in their discussion that are outside the paper. You can really use that as an opportunity to show your breadth of skills or your depth of skills and giving specific things that you've accomplished and ways you've driven business results that aren't on the resume as well. So I think that the master resume is very powerful. It lets you curate the best resume for each role you're applying for, and it allows you to have a really great tool to prepare for your interview. And so you have different examples that you can use for different questions, and it lets you really show all of the work that you've done once you get past the first step. So in summary, your, when the question is, how long should my resume be? 
really, I want you to remember that the question is going to vary by industry. So do a little bit of research and focus on that master resume and use that to curate a great resume and use it to study. So when you do have an opportunity to shine, you can use your whole breadth of experience to give your best answers. So I hope you found that tip helpful. I would love to hear if you have any other strategies or tips you've used in trying to determine the best length for your resume. If you do, leave us a comment. If you have any other topics that you would like us to cover here, let us know. We'd be happy to cover them in this series of career pro tips. Here's to owning your career journey.